In this video, we are going to explore the Blazorize library. With the Blazorize library, we have a component library that allows us to use components with the style of several CSS libraries like Material, Bootstrap, Bulma, and so on. So let's go here to github.com megabit Blazorize, and in here we can see that we have several choices for the styling of the components that this Blazorize library offers us, like Bootstrap, Material, Bulma, Ifrolic, and, and Design. In our case, we are going to use Material Design. So if we click on here, we are going to be taken to this page, and in here you can see all of the components that this library offers us, like buttons, as you can see here, we have buttons with the material design styling, we have models like this model that we have here, and we have many more things. Something that you may be wondering is, okay, here we have the examples, but what is the code? Well, for the code, you have to go back to the GitHub page, and in here you can find demos, and in demos, you can go to demo, and in here you can go to pages, tests, and in here you can find all of the pages that we have here. For example, buttons is here in buttons page. So here you can find the primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, and so on, which is these buttons that we have here. So as you can see, you can use this code to learn how to use this Blazorize library. In our case, we're going to make a simple example using a button, a model, a form, and validations. So let's do that. First, we need to install Blazorize in our application. So let's go to this page, blazorize.com, docs, usage, material, and in here you can find the instructions to install Blazorize material. The first step is to install this package. So first, let me create a new Blazor WebAssembly application. So let's go to create new project, Blazor WebAssembly. So let's pick a name for our project let me say blazorize demo english enter and i will choose .NET 5 and create now let's install our library first i need to install two nugget packages so right click here manage nugget packages and if you are using a blazor webassembly espero netcore hosted application you need to do this step on the client project so let's go to browse and let me paste the blazorize.material nugget package here and let me install it and now let me go back to this page so that i can copy this second package which is the one that contains the icons so let me put this here let me click on here install and that's it now let's continue with the instructions here i need to go to this page because i need to download the css so let me download here download here let me go here, this zip, let me download that, let me show in folder this, cut this, close here, let's go back to Visual Studio, I want to go to the www root directory, open folder in file explorer, and I want to paste my zip file here, I will right click on it, and extract to this, now let me go to this, CSS, cut everything from here, and let's go to this CSS that we have here, paste, Let's go back here, dist js, cut this js folder and paste it here. And now I can delete this dist and this, this zip file. Great. Now let's go back here and let's see what we have left to do. Source files, I need to modify the index.html file. So let me copy these style sheets from here, these links from here, and let me go back to Visual Studio, let's go to the index.html file and in here I can paste the links and then I can go back here and I can copy now these scripts. Let me copy this one and let's go back here and paste this here. Let's go back here. Let me close this and here I need to go to the imports razor file to paste this import. So let me paste this here. And finally, I need to register in the dependency injection service the Blazorize 
services. So let me copy this copy and let me go back here and I will go to the program class and I will paste this here and let me put some indentation here. Control dot here to bring the namespace, control dot here to bring this other namespace and control dot here to also bring this namespace. Now we should be good to go. Yes, that was the final instruction. So let's start with a simple example. I will just put a button on the index page. So let's go to the solution explorer and let me go to pages, index, and in here I will delete all of this and I will put here h1 blazorize examples and let me put a button here. I want to say button with a capital B, click me and I want to say here color color primary and also clicked and I will say here handle click and I want to create a method called handle click so private void handle click console right line click semicolon here and now I want to run my application control f5 just to see what we have we have an error which is normal sometimes the first time you run this application it does that let me control f5 one more time and here you have it here you have the button i can click on it and if i press f12 you are going to see that we have click here so it is working now as you can see the menu doesn't work anymore that is because we're using bootstrap styling in the layout but we just install material so it's not really a good idea to have two CSS frameworks together like bootstrap and material so I will delete all of this that it's about bootstrap and I will just keep the material design stuff so now if we go back here we have this so now what I want to do is to make an example I should go to the index razor file I want to make an example about a model so let's make a model so first I need to say here model and I need to grab a reference of this model. So I will say here private model model ref semicolon here and here I want to say ref model ref and in here I want to say model content and I want to define the size of the model size model size dot large and center equal to true and then I will put the model header which is the header of the model and in here we're going to put model title and inside of model title I can put an icon let's say icon name and here as you can see we can have icon name dot and several icons for example add now let me close this and say add user this will be part of the model title and after the model title I can put a close button here now after the model header we can have the model body and in the model body I am going to put a field let me say here field label name and after that I will use a text edit and close here let me use out of focus true placeholder enter name after that I will create yet another field so field here let me say field label email and after that I will say text edit placeholder enter email dot 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 and after that I will have a final field which is going to be a date of birth so a date so let me say field label date of birth and after that I will use a date edit component t value is going to be date time and I will use a nullable sign here so that this can be null placeholder pick a date and let me close this here now finally after the model body I want to put a model footer and in the model footer I want to put a button let me say close and I want to say color color dot 
secondary and I want to clone this to say here save changes and this will be color primary. Now I have all of this, the final thing that I need to do for our first test is to display this model when we click on this button. So let me go here and I will say here model ref dot show and that's it. Now I can come back here and I can click on here and as you can see we have our model with our form inside of it. And not only that, see this icon that we have here? I can edit it in a really simple manner. I can come back here, let me look for the icon. I can say edit for example, save, let's go back here and after it loads again, click me. And as you can see, we have this other icon. So as you can see, it is really easy to use icons with this library. I can close this without any issues. I can open it back up. But if I click on close, nothing happens. So let's work on that. Let me go back here. And let's say here, clicked hide model. And in here, in this second button, I want to say clicked save changes. Now let me implement this one first. Let me say here private void hide model and let me say here model ref dot hide and with this I'm hiding the model. Now in the save changes I want to do something special. I will say private void save changes and for now I will just say that I want to hide the model but we're going to do that in just a minute, let's just see that this works. Let me save and let's come back here and let me wait for it to refresh. And here we are. Let me click on here. I can close. Good. Click on here. And let me see something. Let's say that I write here ASD, which is not an email, a valid email. And let me see that this works. By the way, we can have a date here and a name here. This is all working, but that is not what I'm interested in. I want to see that if I press on save changes, huh, it closes, but that's not what I wanted. What I want is that, and as you can see, this is not getting clear, but we don't really care about that. What we care about is validating this email. How can we use validations with Blazorize? Well, it is really easy. We only have to do the following. We have to stay here, validations, and we have to put all of the fields inside this validations component and then here we can wrap this field in validation notice that this is validations and this is validation so let me put this here and now what validation is this well this is validator equal to validation rule dot and sometimes i have to delete dot again and now it works is email and this is it now i can write some feedback here let me say text edit feedback and i can say for example let me say here validation error invalid email and if you want and this is optional you can put a good feedback like validation success and i can say great email so let me save and now let's go back here and as you can see we can click on here and it is showing the validation error right away that is not great but we will fix that in a moment for now let me just write and see that we have invalid email and this icon here if i write felipe at hotmail.com you can see that we have great email and we have this check sign here so this is great but i don't want to have the error message displayed when the user opens the model. So what can I do about that? Well, I can go back here and use a manual validation mode. So let me say here, let me say mode validation mode manual. And here I can say ref because I need a reference of this validations component because now I will run the validation manually and I need a reference to the validations component. So let's come here and let's say private validations, validations. And in here, in save changes, I will say if validations validate all 
and this will return a boolean so if everything is valid then it will return true and therefore then it will close the model let's see that let me save and let's come back here and let's see that i can click on here and well we don't have the error so now let me write asd one more time and let me click on save changes and as you can see we have invalid email now we have invalid email but if we write hotmail.com then we can click on save changes and now it lets me go through now again we have a few challenges like this is not getting cleared but that is besides the point the point of this video is to show you an introduction of blazorize and see how easy it is to have a beautiful ui and a working ui using blazorize especially the material component of blazorize so definitely check it out they have several components here which you can check out and you can also check out the examples that they have here so that you can see all of the code to implement an application for yourself. Thanks.